नमस्ते आय एम नागरत्ना विनायक जोशी हरिकथा आर्टिस्ट हुबली कर्नाटक योत प्रविश्य मम वाचमी मं प्रसुप्ता संजीवयती अखिलशक्तिधर स्वधाना अन्याश्च हस्तचरण श्रवण तगादी प्राणान नमो भगवते पुषा तोभ्य संकल्पमात्र परिकल्पित वस्तु जालम प्रेमादर्शील मतिमाष दिव्यलील भक्तानुकूल मनवत्य कृपाल बालम श्री सत्य साई नम हम प्रणतस्टार्टुडे सुभाषित फ्रॉम युअर अकाडमिक सिलेबस इट इज द फिफ्थ वन इन युअर अकाडमिक सिलेबस न चोर हार्य न चोर हार्य न च राज न भ्रातृभ्यम न च भार कारी व्यये कृते वर्धत निम विद्याधन सर्वधन प्रदान देर इज अ वेल्थ इन दिस वर्ल्ड विच एक्सेल्स आल अदर वेल्स दट इज कॉल्ड विद्या हाउ वॉज इट वॉट आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ इट न चोर हार्य न च राज हार्य फर्स्ट वन इज न चोर हार्य This wealth, wherever there is wealth, there is fear, isn't it? Fear of being the wealth stolen from any other person. If we have wealth, then we have the fear of the wealth being stolen from other person. But here, this wealth of vidya, which excels all other wealths. is na chora haryam nobody can steal it the power of knowledge power of education the power of being intellectual can anybody steal it no nobody can steal it na chora haryam na cha raja karyam raja means king king means nowadays kings are not there that system is not there so it is government if you have more money more gold more platinum whatever it is more silver then income tax people will raid on us and they will take it away if you are not paying proper tax taxes proper taxes for the for what we earn then income tax people will one day raid and take it away so the king ultimately the government the king will take it away so now न च राज दिस वेल्थ ऑफ एजुकेशन कैन एनी गवर्नमेंट आर इनकम टैक्स पीपल आर एनी अदर पर्सन कैन रेड ऑन अस पुलिस कैन रेड ऑन अस एंड टेक द वेल्थ अवे नो दिस वेल्थ ऑफ एजुकेशन कैन नॉट बी टेकन बाय एनी बडी एल्स न भ्रातृभ्यम इफ अ फादर डाइज देन हिज इनहेरिटेड प्रॉपर्टी विल बी क्लाइम बाय ऑल ऑफ हिज सन्स डॉटर्स वॉट एवर इट इज If your sibling wants to take your daughter, uh, your father's property, then he can take it physically, whatever the property is. But if you have inherited the skills, the talent, the knowledge, the intellectual capacity of your father, then can anybody ask for a share in it? Any siblings of you? Any brother and sisters of you? can come and ask for the share in that no nobody can ask isn't it na bhratrubhajyam this wealth cannot be divided actually how brothers will divide pra father's property or the children will divide a father's property there is a small story regarding this which is really humorous two brothers were there his their father died and they divided the property so at last one mud pot was remaining so the persons who came for dividing being the witness to the division of the property they told you they told the younger brother you give it to your elder brother it's okay no problem he'll be having a little bit greater share of the property with this pot then the younger brother was not agreeing actually then they asked the elder brother younger one is a smaller one 
so you give give this support to him nobody was ready to give at that moment all of them were desperately trying to convince them and then they went away they couldn't convince them then the, these brothers what they did they brought a hammer they broke the pot brought a scale and then weighed it properly and then took it so this is bhratrubhajya no property would be given to the other brother or sister whatever among your siblings no property would be given as it is so that would be divided properly but whether the skill whether the intelligence whether the vidya whether the knowledge whether the power of being intellectual or intelligent whether your father's knowledge inherited by you can be divided by can be asked for a share through your brothers or sisters no the pratrubhajyam such a bharakar it is not heavy also if you have gold it is heavy if you have silver it is heavy if you have more money then it is heavy but whether the education the wealth of education is heavy no it's not heavy na bhratrubhajyam na cha bharakari it's not heavy also vyaye krute vartate eva nanti if you are a spend thrift whatever the amount of wealth you have got whatever the amount of money you have got what are the amount of property you have got you will sell it and spend it and one day the property or the money or the wealth will be exhausted but this thing vidya nama dhana this vidya dhanam the wealth of education vyaye krute vardhatan if you spend it will increase if you teach anybody if you give lectures if you are good at oratory skills the by giving upanyasas by teaching people vyaye krute by spending the wealth of education it will increase instead of decreasing instead of being exhausted it will increase vidya dhanam sarva dhana pradanam so the vidya dhana the wealth of education excels all the other wealths in this world vidya nama narasya roopam adhikam anadar subhashita says vidya nama narasya roopam adhikam prachanna guptam dhanam vidya bhoga kari yashas sukha kari vidya guru nam guru vidya bandhu jane videsha gamane vidya para devata vidya rajasu pujyate na tu dhanam vidya vihina pashu it's the prachanna guptam dhanam it is the hidden treasure isn't it vidya is the hidden treasure vidya gives us all bhogas all luxuries vidya guru nam guru it's a master of masters vidya bandhu jane among relatives friends and foreign tours whatever it is vidya is just like goddess vidya para devata it helpless helps us like anything vidya rajasa pujyate na tu dhanam even kings even governments even prime ministers even the highest authorities of all countries will respect the power of knowledge power of education so vidya vihina pashu the one who do not read is equal to the one who cannot read and the one who cannot read is just like a, an animal vidya vihina pashu so vidya is very important knowledge is very much important good quality education has the power to change the life of a person a community and the future of a planet good quality education has the power to convert the life of a person or a community or the future of a planet itself so education it has got lot of power isn't it विद्यानाम नरस्य रूपमधिकं प्रच्छन्न गुप्तं धनं विद्या भोगकरी यशस्सुखकरी 
it gives our luxuries it gives name and fame it gives it is guru nam guru it gives happiness also an investment in knowledge pays the best interest benjamin franklin says you invest your property or money wherever you want isn't it but you invest yourself in knowledge then the interest it pays is the best we invest for the interest isn't it it's for share in uh, field of shares in the bank fixed deposits rds recurring deposits and all we invest our money but if we invest ourselves in the field of education then it pays the highest interest have you heard the it i mean information technology um, even though it is physical in the physical definition i am giving not adhyatmika definition which i am giving right now but still physical happiness also matters na so in information technology iit kharagpur student one of the iit kharagpur student because of his knowledge intelligence got 1 crore salary per month that's due to vidya skill intelligence knowledge he earned that's not because he had some wealth and he invested no his wealth was vidya so there is a definition for this uh, word education the spelling of education is e d u c a t i o n isn't it so what is that e is for enlightenment d is for disciplined u for understanding c for character building a for being active t for thoughtful i for intelligent being intelligent o for being observant and n for being nationalist so all these qualities are brought from by investing ourselves in the field of education we have heard about saryam vishweshwaraya isn't it his knowledge gave him ample of fame he was the key person in building uh, technical he was a technical advisor in mokama bridge ganga bridge he was the key person in building developing visakhapatnam port he implemented an intricate system of irrigation in deccan plateau designed and patented a system of automatic wa- where water flood gate whenever there is a flood the gates used to get open so that this could re- this could in turn can save more water in dams so such things such capacities such knowledge based skills are provided from the education provided from the knowledge provided from the intelligence we have and this intelligence is the wealth we do possess that is called as vidya you heard about cv raman you have heard of jagadish chandra bose all these people contributed to the society through their vidya and their name and fame are eternal till now we remember them why because they had money no because they invested themselves in the field of vidya so they got more interest and their na- names are still renowned throughout the world so here na chora karyam na cha bhratru bhat na cha raja karyam na bhratru bhatyam na cha bharakari vyaye krute vardhate eva nityam vidyadhanam sarvadhana pradan so education is the real wealth which excels all other wealths in this world thank you sairam